This na the story of our sister when he marry one of our Nigerian brothers for abroad. Thinking say yes, he marry person. After they don't stay a lot of years for abroad, they don't do things. The man can tell and say one go see mama for Nigeria when he nowhere. All of a sudden, a guy come Nigeria, come marry another wife. Secretly, the woman no know. Sincerely, eh? Person enemy, now family member. Imagine this woman don't stay with this man for how many years? No issue. No, they no quarrel from the. You not go hear what the woman talk. They no quarrel. They no do anything. The man just want go see mama just from there go marry second wife. If now you this kind of thing happen to, what you go do? How you go feel? I go just allow us more watch the video. Maybe we talk. I will take see the matter. I bet me gonna try. Me gonna subscribe to the channel. Me gonna say I will fit a push up. Okay, we na do well. Oh, when I just leave, I'm gonna hear what the woman talk. It is so emotional. I feel for the woman, but uh, what the man go do now? Me gonna just follow me watch the video. Fat that you treat somebody else child that live with you for good nineteen years. The fact that you will keep somebody daughter in your house. For good 19 years and no confusion, nothing. No confusion. Everything was fine. Everything is fine. And you just go and get married. And you think that everything will be fine with you? 19 years. When I met this man, he did not have anything when I met him. Nothing he did not have. We slept on the ground for the very first time when I met him. When I met my husband, we were on the ground. My man lapped the airport on the ground. In our very first apartment. Nothing he was not having. He has nothing when I met him. I the one were working when I met him. And I was with him. I didn't marry him because of money, because of what he had. No. We married because of love. We love each other and we decide to get married. And we've been together for a good 19 years. And when you don't want the person, at least be respectful. Be very respectful to that person. Do not just walk out and say you're going to see your mom and lie to the person that you're going to go see your mother. Your mother is sick and you're going to see your mother. And the next thing the person see is that you marry. Why would you treat somebody else child like that? Why would you treat innocent woman that is blameless, that took care of you for a good 19 years? That even when you step on their toes, they move it from there. But I gave God a glory again. Everything happened for a reason. I gave God the praises. I know my God is in his throne, washing over me. He sees the pain that I go through. Every woman will get hurt for the first time, of course. And I will, I know it will take me a while to get healed because it's somebody that I've been with for a good 19 years that I care for for 19 years. I will do everything together for a good 19 years and just left this country, go Africa. Without telling me that he going to go get married. <laughs> the devil is working in him. Good 19 years. This year is our 19 years. And you left that person with children. And you go Africa to go and marry. I don't know how he felt when he did that. I don't know how he felt when he did it. But I believe it's something that he made out his mind. 
and he went to go to <laughs> the fact is that the one that hurt me that really bring me on this land we are legally married and we are not divorced yet we are not divorced we did not fought nothing and our divorce and our our marriage is still in place and you go africa to go get married to another woman legally how did that make you how did that make you and the funny thing this morning when i wake up i open my facebook page the message he sent me i love you and i love you the most i still love you the most now go there, but where did this coming from? <laughs>